Hey boys, what's up? We're back with some more screenshots and what's it like? A bit past six o'clock I'm recording this. Finally I get to do it like on the time they're uploaded. And it's a good night, man. Origins on in like a couple of hours probably. And these screenshots are pretty pretty exciting, so let's just go through them. First one, we've got a bit of a tackle animation and first thing I notice obviously is this goddamn tattoo. The tattoos the tattoos are like so detailed, it's crazy. Um, um, let's just see who these are. Probably, that's probably Dugan. I don't really know any other player with a leg tattoo. I don't know if Dugan has that sort of <laughs> tattoo, but it's probably Dugan. This one, obviously, I'd say Nate Miles. I think. Actually, I don't know. It sort of looks like Miles. You can't really tell who these are, honestly. That's probably Jennings, and that's, I don't know. I have no idea, honestly, but... It looks really good, man. Um, I mean, just the detail in the grass. I mean, look at that. It looks like it sort of looks like it's scuffed up from the boots and stuff. It just looks really good. So that's the first screenshot. We got, I think we got four, four screenshots. So second one, goal kicking. This is so I'm really happy about this. Like I suggested that they show goal kicking, and it looks like there's practice goal kicking. So as you see, um, eight kicks remaining. Required 24, payout 72, distance 20. I don't know what all this. I don't know what it is. I'm hoping. Ah, oh, honestly, what could this be? It sort of seems like it's not just practice, obviously, because there's you get something out of it. Payout 72. What is that? We don't know. I'm hoping this is like mini games, right? So what I wanted is like training modes to affect. But what I wanted was train you to actually affect your stats because go back to I don't know if the last game had training, but in Rugby League three the training it was just random. You could actually the last game did you could just change like if they did attacking training or defensive that sort of it didn't really matter at all. But in this I'm hoping that it's like you can actually do a day of kicking practice with your goal kicker and um, if they get all the requirements they. I don't know, this payout, like, levels them up somehow? I don't know. Or maybe this is uh, your your player, your be a pro player, and he's he's kicking and he's leveling up. I mean, it's obviously something to do with getting higher stats in kicking. Or it's just like a... Or it could just be outside and just be like a mini game, like, I don't know, see how many kicks you can get in a row or something like that, which would be cool. Honestly, this is really awesome. This screenshot gives us a lot of... A lot of cool new information, honestly. Um, and let's talk about the kicking. So, it's fairly different. A lot different from Rugby League Live 2. Well, just the uh, setup. So, we've got this red bar here. That was like on the other screenshots. The play you're controlling, I think. But this one here, it looks like... I'm guessing you hit X or whatever button equivalent. And that, it'll fill up to the green for the power, I think. And I don't know if it'll come back down and you'll have to do an accuracy or or you just aim it. I'm not too sure. Uh, I don't really know what I'd want it to be like. I'm just hoping it's it's challenging without being ridiculously hard, you know. Just just challenging enough because I think the last game was way too easy, but we'll see. Goal King obviously isn't the main factor, but yeah, just this thing up here is really interesting. Obviously, it's some sort of leveling up. Um, yeah. We don't, I, I don't know what it could be. Well, there's obviously only a few things it could be, but it's pretty exciting. Now, the next one. Okay, so this <laughs> Okay, this, I, I don't understand. I don't know why the resolution for these screenshots are so bad. <laughs> because the game doesn't look that bad. I'll go, like, we'll go back. Look at that. The detail in the grass, the shadows, all that. The player. This one, even closer, the detail. And we go to this one, and it, the, the resolution is just garbage. <laughs> I don't understand. So we just, like, the only thing I really talk about this one is the spacing. So everyone talks about, oh, they want the field has to be really well, like, in ratio to the players. Like, you don't want the players too big for the field, vice versa. I think it's pretty decent. Like, we can't, you can't tell too much because it's scrum, but... Like, in a real game, that would probably be about right. You have two players 
that close to the sideline would probably be pretty decent. Um, yeah. Not much else to talk about that one, really. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And the last one, I don't even know why we're looking at the last one. As the goddamn dog is pissing me off and barking. But this last one, I mean... 10 for New South Wales? I don't, I don't think so, but... <laughs> getting hyped for the game. 10 for New South Wales, it's not going to happen like that. Let's, let's hope not, but just the UI here looks pretty slick. You got your man in the match, the... That sort of thing. It looks pretty similar to the last game. Um, it probably looks a bit more simple than the last game. It looks a little bit more streamlined, probably. You can see a lot of the... You can see the stats a lot easier, in my opinion. So that's good. Uh, everything about these screenshots are really good, actually. I'm most excited about this one. Just the fact it's like a leveling up. But yeah, that's the new screenshots we got. Get hot for Origin, but yeah, I'll see you boys in the next one.